morning, everybody. It's time for coffee with cookies. Mm. So delicious this morning. So we're in day three. Now I'm going to lose track of the count. Um, so I'm just saying it's day three. It's decades day. Can you tell? What's different about me? Anyways, I got my kitty next to me. You want to see? Stella, tell him hi. Oh, she's camera shy, everybody. She doesn't really like me. They're my kids' cats. So just so you know, there's another one, but you'll never see her because she's CC. She's cool cat. She's like a teen forever. Hmm. So today I'm going to talk to you. And if you were in my AFT, you already know this. But I love Zentangles. And so I'm just going to show you some Zentangles. So Zentangles. Really Zentangle just, in my opinion, means really elaborate design. All right. So see that really elaborate design? That's all it means. It means taking doodles to the extreme. But what can we do with those fun doodles? Well, here's what some of the things my AFT did. So this is an L. Let me hold it back. There we go. So this is an L that um, someone, that was their name. And then look and see all that detail on there. Isn't that cool? So you start with just a pencil line of your letter. So here's like a pencil line of an S. And then you can see they start to get more detail. See all that really cool detail? And they just start to have fun with it. So eventually, if you want, you could even color it in. And you can color it in and then send it to Mr. Mac. And he will post it on the Nagel website, the Nagel Schoology page. So I am challenging you to get creative. Now, let's say You've already been in my class. You've already done that. My AFT, or you've already done these because you like to do art and you doodle a lot. Challenge yourself to the next level. Where is that next level? Here. Okay. So this is just a generic line drawing of a snow owl. So then what you would do, and I don't have, you know, then you take, and obviously... I don't know if I can bend this down enough so you can see. But what I'll do is I'll take my pencil and I'll start to put some doodling in there. You know, some really fun zentangle. And then, you know, play with that idea. So I'm not going to do it the whole time because, Lord, that would be boring. It's like me drawing at the board for all you people who remember that. Don't like to do it that long, but see how I'm starting to place the patterns and designs in the snow owl. So really cool finished products that my students did last year. Look at these koi. Hold on, let me get them to you. Can you see that koi? Go up. All right, here is the turtle. Isn't that turtle so cool? I know, I love the turtle. My AFT, that, or not AFT, my um, regular classes last quarter made awesome wire turtles. Like, kudos to the wire turtles. Here's a bird. If you like birds, let me see. Let me raise it up. You can never tell if you can see it or not. There we go. And then look at this piggy. Isn't that pig so cute? Oh my gosh. I love that pig. Makes me so happy. And so you can really just do any type of animal and you can Google Zentangles to help you and they go step through, you know, step by step. But look, at, you know, you can even see all those really cool patterns and just challenge yourself. You know, it's something to do. Uh, you know, if you're not doing the internet, you're not doing um, any of that stuff. Again, Pinterest is amazing. It is my one, if we would call it social media that I do go on and look at a lot. And I finally figured out how to do the boards. I even started a board for Ben. So all you seventh graders who are doing the phases of the moon, you can do the phases of the moon in Oreo cookies. Now, what a better extension than to have 
fan, buy you Oreos so you can then later eat them. So, all right, signing off. Cookies with coffee, coffee with cookie. There you go. Oh, cookies with coffee would be so good right now. Hmm. Stay positive, positive energy. Make good choices. Be kind to each other out there, my friends. All right, I'm going in for the stop.